All right, guys, we're doing it. We made it. We're staying in a treehouse here in Utopia, Texas. So we're staying in the Bibliotheque, or if you want to get weird, the Bibliotheca, just because it sounds more fun, but I think it's the Bibliotheque. So quickly, let me show you guys this before we talk about how the weekend's gonna go. Let's get upstairs. So one of the things that's kind of cool is we actually met at the Utopia Golf Course and they drove us over here. So it's a very personal experience when you get here that they're gonna come and bring you to your treehouse. So we're here at the Bibliotheque. You guys check out this sign really quick. Treehouse Utopia, Bibliotech. Oh. It is stinking cute. Just straight off the bat. When you come into the bathroom here, right on your right though, you know, you actually have quite more amenities than I think you think you would have, right? So you don't just have like a toilet and a shower and a cramped little tiny, you know, sink. Look, I mean, the amenities here, how well everything is folded, laid out for you, what they have ready for you to be able to use, like a very nice four or five star hotel would have here in a treehouse. Pretty insane. And then look at this shower. I mean, how crazy is this shower that we have, what you would say a two person shower, but you also have, I mean, the decorations that goes with it. And look at these little salt shakers. At least they look like it, right? Like, ooh, I'm gonna wash my hair. Like, what? So, right away, you're going, holy moly, they do a good job really setting the tone, even if you just go straight to the bathroom when you get here. Now, there is no kitchen in these, so when you come in, you're gonna have like what I guess you could call a kitchenette. So they do have a nice little, nice little fridge for you. Some amenities, that's very nice to have. You don't expect that in very, very many places. And these are your breakfasts for two days, so Saturday and Sunday, some uh, different types of uh, fruits. And then of course, parfaits, coffees. And then if you are a cheese plate person, or maybe you got some wine or something that you're gonna bring with you, they do know that that's gonna happen. Now no kids are allowed, so you're probably gonna drink a lot of wine if you do come here. And some different types of coffee. We did just find out that a, a new coffee shop opened up here called Postal Brews. We're gonna go check them out in the morning and let you guys know about that. We even got some scones from those guys. So they do a very good job trying to help you get ready for a long weekend in the middle of nowhere. After this, it's just cute, right? I mean, look at this place. The way that they've laid this out is insane. Now this is the bibliotheque, so a library. Look at all the books and the way that they've laid that part of it out. Now over here, you've got your encyclopedias and some uh, I would say more uh, for the, the educated mind, but if you want to have a little bit more fun, come to this side. This is, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to books, right? They've got the Star Wars trilogy, the Wizard of Oz, the, the Emerald City of Oz, if you want to go deeper into the story, right? Beauty and the Beast, Moby Dick, don't get weird, and then just throw this guy in there, Michael Crichton, Jurassic Park, and The Lost World. So. Even if you do come here and maybe you want to just spend the weekend doing absolutely nothing and kind of enri you know, enriching the mind a little bit, look at this. I mean, you don't even need to bring your book. You've got that ready to go. Cool little sitting area. One thing I don't think you're gonna find in too many tree houses are air conditioners. We even have an air conditioner unit. And if you do come here during the winter time, they've got this nice little fireplace. Now it's fake, right? But it's gonna create all the heat you would need. I would assume we are not staying here during the winter time. I did have to point this one book out though. The Japanese Art and Science of Forest Bathing. If you're gonna come stay here, you might as well know how to clean yourself while you're in the forest. All right, so as you can tell, very small amount of square footage. There's not a, a lot to spread yourself out, but that's not why you're here, right? This is one of the reasons why you're here. Look at this. So you get a chance to come sit out here on the patio, check out, just enjoy the view. But before we check out the view, look at this. I mean, this is literally the tree that you saw me standing on before we started doing all this stuff. An 800 year old tree that this is built on. That is insane. So if you turn and look out here at this view, this is why you come. We're however many feet we are. I mean, it feels like we're three or four stories high in the air in a treehouse in South Texas, outside of San Antonio, at Utopia Treehouse. This is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to enjoy this place, to show you guys a little bit more of what we do here, and then recap it at the end of the week 
uh, the end of the weekend and just tell you guys what we learned because I think this is going to be amazing and hopefully the bibliotech treats us well. Good morning from the swimming hole here at Treehouse Utopia. It's about 65 degrees and I decided to get in the water to showcase that at any time you can enjoy a nice little dip here <laughs> in the water at Treehouse Utopia. Um, it turns out that this swimming hole here, this little spot is actually spring fed. So even when the river itself is not flowing, this swimming hole, the Laurel Waters told us last night at the restaurant that it's been here for 40 years. That her family has been coming here and swimming in this swim hole. So it is literally a family swimming hole here on their piece of property here in Utopia, Texas. Pretty stinking crazy. I had to get out here and enjoy it a little bit. Guys, we're wrapping up our stay here at Treehouse Utopia in the Bibliotheque. What an amazing weekend. Staying in tree houses is truly magical. Uh, we're gonna show you guys a couple things that we found, learned while we were here, talk a little bit about what we did while we were in town, and then let you guys find your own adventure. So there are tons of books in the bibliotheque. We were talking with Laurel at dinner. One of the things that we found out is that the first people that stayed in this treehouse had a complaint that there were one type of book missing. She was trying to find books for everybody. And you know what it was? It was Harry Potter. So by the second guest that stayed, she made sure that the Harry Potter books showed up. So if you're a Potterphile, I guess in this case, you've got your books here. She thought with the Lord of the Rings that she was gonna have everything, but no, she needed more magic. And so she got that with the Harry Potter. So let's figure this kind of stuff out. One of the things about staying in these tree houses, this is a five-star resort in a tree. It is expensive, but every single detail is laid out for you. Little tiny knickknacks that you see around are very particularly placed to give an ambiance, to give a feeling while you're here. And you get that throughout your entire stay here at the treehouse, the way that things go on at the Laurel Tree, the restaurant that you get a chance to go to, though you do still have to pay for dinner there, it's part of it, you get a reservation if you choose to use it. I would use it at least for lunch or dinner, choose one, the food, phenomenal. Okay, but Tamara noticed something that she's been talking about for a long time that they utilized here and wanted to show you guys that. It may seem small, but this very magical black rag with the word makeup on it, we've stayed in so many cabins in Broken Bow, we've had our own cabin in Broken Bow, and different places that have always had white, cheap rags that look disgusting because of the fact that people, they're, they're very makeup specific. And Tamara's always wondered, why don't they just use black rags for that? Well, black rag embroidered with makeup on it, so you know that this is what you want to use when you're cleaning the makeup off of your face. So again, it's these kind of crazy details that they go into here at the entire stay for Treehouse Utopia. So you may be wondering, what does one do when they come stay in a treehouse in Utopia, Texas? A lot of people just stay in the treehouses. They're so magical and they're so well orchestrated that you just want to be a part of that magic the entire time. So. If you think you're going to want to get out, make sure that you don't plan too much, that you feel like you have to get done because you're going to regret not spending more time in the treehouse if you're out and about the entire time. Tamara and I did spend a little bit of time driving around to some of the small towns. Really cool doing that. We got to go to the Apple Store in Medina. We got to see some things in Bandera, which is, it turns out, Bandera County is wild. Who knew, right? Uh, came back through Tarpoli and then back to here in Utopia to the treehouse and hung out. So your adventure, it can be a little bit whatever you want to make it. But for me, we've got to head home. We've got to go get the kids. I'm going to wander off in the set set and just dream and remember this moment in a treehouse. And hopefully we can find others that we can afford to get to and enjoy some more time in treehouses. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you've got questions, put them in the comments. If you've got thoughts, remember, just reach out, say hi. If nothing else, we'll see you guys on the internet.